Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. On a monitor, all images must be displayed as pixels on screen. So before we can manipulate the images, we must learn more about how pixels are displayed and measured. When an image is displayed on your monitor, it is rendered according to the pixel dimensions of the graphic and the display settings and size of your monitor. The image's pixel dimensions are the width and height of the image in pixels. The number of pixels displayed in an image is measured in pixels per inch or PPI. Generally speaking, the higher the PPI, the higher the quality of the image. The digital size of an image, usually measured in kilobytes, megabytes, or gigabytes, is proportional to the pixel dimension of an image. Images with a higher PPI may have a higher resolution and may produce greater detail when printed, but they may also print more slowly and take up more disk space for storage. Elements supports a maximum pixel dimension setting of 30,000 by 30,000 pixels per image. You can make adjustments to the size of an image by using the image size dialog box. You can access this dialog box by selecting Image from the menu bar, rolling down to the Resize command, and then choosing the Image Size command from the side menu that appears. In this dialog box, you can select how it should resample images when the size of the image changes. When you increase the size of an image, you add new pixels into the image. These new pixels will be added to the image based on the color values of existing pixels in the image. Make sure to check the Constrain Proportions checkbox. This will automatically change the height or width of your image as you change the other aspect while keeping your image in proportion. If unchecked, you might end up with a warped image when resizing. You can specify an interpolation method using the drop-down that appears next to the Resample Image checkbox in this dialog box. You can generally resample downward and not lose image quality. However, resampling upward, meaning adding pixels, can often result in an image that is a bit blurry. For methods of interpolation, you can select Nearest Neighbor which is fast, but of less quality than the other choices. You can also select bilinear, which results in a medium quality image. You can select bicubic, which is the default, for a slow but more precise method. You can also choose bicubic smoother or bicubic sharper to set the bicubic resampling to favor producing a smoother or sharper image. You can then set, of course, the width and height that you prefer in those text boxes, and then click the OK button to change the image size. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.